Well, hello there. My name is Derek Cross, and we are playing on the Beyond Dusk SMP. And, uh, well, I have been busy. Last episode, we unlocked uh, our wings by killing the old Ender Dragon. And uh, this episode, well, uh, I've been busy. Oh, and there's a trap door down there. Yeah, we'll get into that one in a minute. But anyways, to start the episode off, let us have a chat with Abby. Ah. Uh... Hello. Hi. How's it going? Not. Oh, that might help if I unmute my mic. <laughs> that that would help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm good at I'll... I'm good at this whole, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Recording thing. Yeah. <laughs> this whole YouTube thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, to goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, so I've been wanting to talk to you about something. Hang on, I need to. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Um, so I heard that. Well, I heard through Roth. So who knows if this is accurate or not? That you might be doing a Wither Skull farm mm -hmm. at some point. Uh, do you maybe want to collab on that? Sure, 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 sure. Well, it seems that we are going to be building a Wither Skeleton farm together. Um, I had planned on building one anyways, so it is nice to have help. And because of that, I'm going to be able to go bigger and better than ever before. But, but before we built the Wither Skeleton farm, I built a Froglight farm. That's right, I built a Froglight farm here in the Basalt Delta on the Nether Roof. And this thing works amazingly well. Uh, it is a very simple design. Uh, we have, well, we don't even have a sorting system in right now. Uh, we have nine mine carts that come across, dropping things off into this uh, with the drop off station right there. And uh, up top, there we go. Up top, well, it is a pretty simple design. As you can see, we have a couple of magma cubes hanging out already and uh so we've got uh two iron golems in the middle to attract the magma cubes when they're not aggroed to me obviously and uh and then down below we have a bunch of frogs we have six of every color of frog in there along with snow blocks we have chains on top of some of them the frogs i was having an issue with the frogs jumping out it seems like i put those chains in and that stopped and then uh we have our AFK spot up there, which is at build, li build limit on Java. And this is a super simple farm. You could build this below in the nether if you're playing on bedrock and it would still work. Um, it wouldn't work as well. You'd probably have to do a lot of spawn proofing down there. But if we fly up to, uh, up to the platform here, and we just stand here. We I can show you just how well this thing works, and uh, we'll just give it a second here. And uh, it really ramps up down there. Uh, once the once they start spawning in, they just do not stop, and it is fantastic. This thing makes a lot of frog lights. Uh, as you can see, I haven't run this farm for very long at all, but as you can hear and see, this thing is just amazing. Can't believe it, and uh, we're collecting all these magma creams as well, because uh, we're going to use these to make magma blocks. Instead of going out and gathering them, I thought this would be a more productive way, because I also get another product to sell here on the server. Well, that's enough of that. And uh, let's go build ourselves a wither skeleton farm.
Ooh. Oh, man. Well, this thing was a beast to build. And, uh, I mean, once we get it uh, spawn-proofed, I think it will be very lucrative as well um, in getting skulls. Let's take a look here and see if we have yet to fill the the filter with skulls yet. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time here. 36? No. I haven't spent too much time here uh, after finishing building it. Um, I've done some spawn proofing, but there's lots more to do. I don't know. Eventually, I would like to come back through and just make a perimeter out of this. Uh, for this, and uh, then it would be fantastic. Uh, she made herself a sword. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, let's go ahead and uh, you guys saw it in the time lapse, but let's go ahead and pop into free cam mode here and take a look. This is the sorting system. This is a, a different sorting system than I have ever built, but uh, from what I heard from the guy that I got the uh, or found this farm on his channel uh, and he had a world download for um, it was uh, from one of the Psycraft members that built this particular sorting system. Um, I think he said it was Lutz, but I'm not sure. I could be completely wrong. Anyways, I'll try to link him in the description. I can't think of his name at the moment either. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, we have a three-tiered. This is three crossroads as well. Um, and so we are using six... Or three per level. So nine total of the pigmen in here to attract their attention. They drop down. And, uh, for some reason, my free cam can't go through solid blocks. They drop down, get pushed by these pistons, and then drop down and hit the this trap door. Drop down again, get pushed over, and they keep going. This one aligns them into a one wide spot so that we can kill them with sweeping. And then we just come over here with our sweeping edge sword and uh, we hit the we hit the armor stand. And then when they are all dead, we step on this pressure plate. It activates the sorting system. Step off once it's done, and uh, yeah, go back to it. Uh, I'd never seen this alignment system either, where it has a slime, it has a honey block. The items fall down on a chest. It has a honey block that pushes it off. That's very cool. Very cool. I might have to use this kind of thing more. Well, and of course, it would be raining when I see come back to this. Yeah, so there's a uh, a pink trap door stuck in where a spruce trap door should be, and we got a lectern here. So let's take a look at this lectern and see what this says. All right, so uh, back to page one. You have been chosen by the mysterious trap door. Who knows what chaos may bring? It may bring. But one thing is for certain. It has, annoyingly, set itself on your base. To be rid of the trapdoor, you must visit the altar and give up a valuable offering of a diamond block to appease its mysterious holiness. Holiness, yeah. And then choose who you'd like to bestow it to. Basically. Uh be it a, a random d dust walker or one of your own choosing. Wow. Okay, so, uh, and then uh, we had coordinates here. Otherwise, it must remain there until you have offered to the altar at those coordinates, which I do happen to know is right here because this uh, showed up while I was... Uh, well, well, I was fighting the weather because I wanted a beacon. And we have some skulls now. So uh, I had taken a few from the farm before we actually even completed it. And uh, 
that I'd gotten while working on completing it and uh, went and fought the wither. Uh, that wither fight was well let's be honest it was on a little on the easy side but you know there's uh many ways to fight the weather these days i decided to do it down in a tunnel and uh usually i just uh cheese it in the end portal which will probably become a thing later but uh you know for the first one i decided to do it that way because there's at least some risk of dying that way and yeah, but uh i barely even got hurt so yeah not bad, not bad. And uh, we are here at the site of the altar. And uh, it's it's just a cave. It's just a little tiny cave that... Oh, that's the wrong button. It's just a little tiny cave that... Well, doesn't even... It, it doesn't even look that great. Oh, man. Um, so this is where we have to make our offering, huh? Ah. You know. I don't know how this got here. But I'd like to get that trapdoor off my build. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm also going to need a crafting table because I don't have any of mine crafted into blocks right now. Uh, I think I have one in there, yeah. Alright, uh... That'll work. And... Crafting table. Alright, well... Um, clean up my mess here. Alright, well... Let's... Let's send this off to, uh, well, the mysterious trap door. Hmm. That's weird. All sound stopped. Huh. I think it's happy. You know, we can make it even more happy. We come in here. Oh. Come in here and decorate it up some more, too. Get some leafage going, maybe some mossy blocks in here. Yeah, maybe we'll have to do that. Maybe we'll have to do that. But first things first, we've got to find a new home for this trapdoor. Oh, mysterious trapdoor. I have appeased you at your altar. And now it is time for you to choose a new home. I have given you six names of players that play on this server. And now you must choose. Uh, uh yeah, uh. Roth, Roth Rune Deer, you have chosen to go to Roth Rune Deer, and thus it shall be so. That looks like a good place for it. 
Yeah, that'll bug the heck out of him. All right. Mission accomplished. That will bug the ever-living crap out of him. All right. You know, the funny part about that is I did this at random, as you saw. And, uh, Froth, uh... Well, Ross said that he would pay me a diamond block to, uh, to remove that from my door because it was going to annoy him, it being there. And now, now it shows him. So, well, I guess that's fitting. Um... No, oh, we can, uh, we'll work on sprucing up that cave a little bit as well. We've got a little bit of cherry stuffs. And, uh, yeah, we can, uh, we can spruce that up just a little bit more. Well, that looks a little better. Yeah. I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Beyond Dusk, and uh, if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, I would much appreciate it, and uh, I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.